say eyes are windows into the soul. If somebody look deep into my eyes, into my soul, they find fire. Fire that started once I figured out what I wanted to do in my life. The fire that got bigger once I lost my mother. The fire that still burns today. The fire that can never be put out until I say it's out. This is a day in the life of Travis Thomas. As y'all can see, it's 4 a.m. in the morning. Just pulling up to the gym. People ask me all the time, why I go to the gym this time of day? I could get y'all the answer that it's physical. You know, I'm trying to build my body, stay in shape, but it's more than that. It's the mental aspect of knowing everybody else is asleep and I'm working. That's how you win. This is where it all started. This is where I grew up for how long I live here. Let's see, I went to College of Southern Maryland Community College, shout out to CSM for two years after I graduated. This is where I grew up, stayed 21 years here and went away to college. Matter of fact, my, I remember my mom telling me, you know, we're gonna help you get on your feet and start your life and all that, but don't you move back home. <laughs> My mom was, uh, she was, she was interesting like that, man. She was, um, she was a tough lady. Definitely, you know, instilled a lot of mental toughness in me and, you know, taught me right from wrong, put just a lot of emphasis on hard work. And so moms was big on that. And I miss her, you know. Um, 2009, October 1st, 2009, uh, I was actually in the studio at Comcast Sportsnet producing the 11 o'clock sports news and uh, my dad called me and was just like hey you know mom's at Washington Hospital Center um, her blood pressure was crazy high and so they rushed her up here and she's got to have a stent you know a uh, place in her heart should be an outpatient surgery no big deal and I immediately went to my boss in the middle of a show and I was like hey I gotta go my mom's at the hospital they were cool um, I got to the hospital she was mad that I like left work to come and see her. But in hindsight, I'm glad I did because that was the last time I saw my mom. She made it out of the surgery, but her body uh, never really recovered uh, from the surgery. So on October 10th, uh, she passed away. I always worked hard before, but it's like, you know, once I lost my mother, it was uh, my biggest fear had come to fruition. So it's like now I'm fearless, like nothing, I, there's nothing that can deter me from chasing success now. So I made the choice to uh, walk away from my career at that time and, and come back home and, um, you know, help my father with the buses and expand the company and just try and get him to retire and enjoy life and, you know, let the young gun run it. So uh, it's, it's really been a blessing. You know, since I've been home, um, I've always loved St. Mary's County. Even when I left, I missed it. I was homesick. And uh, it's, it's just, God has really touched my life and just blessed me with the ability, you know, to be home and help my father with the legacy of the family business and now back in sports on television. Man, it's, it's just, uh, I know it's just God, you know, and, and my mom just really watching out for me and so I, all I can do is work hard and let them take care of the rest. Alright, here now at the Metrocast Channel 10 offices, this is where all the magic happens. This is where I write my wonderful little scripts. This is my desk area over here. As you can see, it's a mess, but it's controlled chaos, trust me. This is my computer over here, a printer, state of the art, you know what I'm saying? It's like that 1999 printer, but it gets it done now. Let's go to the studio now. I'll show you where we produce all the shows for Channel 10. It's actually right next door, which makes it convenient. 
I don't have to walk too far to make it happen. So in here in this studio, we have all the different sets for the shows we do. So straight ahead right here is Be Your Best with Don Campbell. I love Don Campbell. The funny thing about her set is she's like four foot two. She's gonna kill me for saying that, but Don, I love you. She's four foot two. And uh, so her set, everything's kind of set like low. And actually I was just a guest on her show not too long ago. And let me tell you something, I look like Kareem Abdul-Jabbar on her set, it was crazy. This is the Best Buy set over here. That's where Elisa does her thing. She promotes all the local businesses and talks to them about you know, what they got going on and specials and all that kind of stuff. It's a great show. Community connection. You know, we got to get in the community. You know, Metrocast Channel 10 is all about the community. And then one of my personal favorites, The Buzz, with my main man, James Lepore. I call him Big Game James because every, you know, every week he comes in here to do a show and he just brings so much energy to the table. So I call him Big Game James, man. That's who he is. I love that set, too. And then, of course, everybody knows the Southern Maryland Sports Journal set, set I'm particularly proud of. So, you know, definitely, uh, definitely loving that and love bringing that show to you every week. You know, uh, my first sports memory was probably late 80s, I want to say 87 maybe, uh, Redskins, Broncos, Super Bowl. And um, they won that Super Bowl like 42 to 10, 42 to 17, something crazy. And I just remember the joy um, my parents had watching that game. I mean, they were going crazy, but um, I ended up getting sick like right after the game because they, you know, we were all cheering so hard. My mother was the one who was really into all sports. My dad was more of a Redskin fan and, you know, outside of that, he was your casual sports fan. But my mother, you know, she was a huge Michael Jordan fan. She could tell you his career stats. She was really the one that piqued my interest to go deeper into sports. So I graduated from uh, Towson University with a degree in television and radio production. And, you know, I went to WJZ Channel 13, which is a CBS affiliate in Baltimore. And that was like my first internship. And then, I'm gonna tell you, I treated that internship like a, like a full-time job. It was myself and probably three or four other interns there at that time. And I was determined to outshine them. You know, if they took a phone message and they, you know, scribbled it on a sheet of paper for whoever, you know, when they got in, you know, so-and-so, your wife called or whatever, I would type them out, you know what I'm saying? Our job was to watch games and write down when big plays happen. Um, so they might write one sentence, I would type out a paragraph. So before I even realized I was literally writing highlights, I was just doing it like innately. The upper management took notice of me and they offered me a full-time job. I was still in my junior year of college. I've always been a hustler. I've always been a hard worker. I've always had a vision uh, of success. You know, I've always chased it. You know, I definitely think that, you know, my mother's looking down on me proud right now. You know, she's, um, she's my inspiration and, and to be honest with you, I don't think I'd be back in television. You know, once she passed, I moved back home and worked, you know, worked with my father with the school buses and, and the party bus and all the stuff we got going on over on that side. But, you know, I, I came here to Metrocast Channel 10 to get a commercial uh, for, for that business. And one thing led to another and they kind of find, found out a little bit about my background and here I am giving you Southern Maryland Sports Journal every week. So that's God and, and my mother um, really putting those things back in my life because sports are definitely my passion. You know, another aspect of my life that I don't know if people really know about, I have a YouTube channel as well called County Life TV. We write skits, we do music. And it's just something that's near and dearer to my heart. You know, I'm, I do it with all my friends that I grew up with. 
You know, they make they make the County Life team. So that's something y'all need to check out and subscribe to if you like it. There's something on there for everybody. Comedy, um, sports, music, everything. County Life TV. Recipe for my destiny, I love this county life. So it's RIP to the death of me. Got no kids and no wife. My biz and vixen on getting cheese. I work all day and night, and I'm always giving you the best of me. Let's work. Welcome to the mind of a young mogul. Hard to lay low when everybody knows you. Hard to get ahead when don't nobody owe you. Right now I'm local, but focus on going global. You know, Southern Maryland's changing. The people who in power now they aging. No more good old boy network. Nowadays you want some paper, better network. Me, I'm trying to build my net worth. You are now subscribed to my network. Work. County life, we all about our Lucci. And your money short, Danny Bonaduce. So that's it. That's a day in the life. You saw me at work with Channel 10. You saw me at work with my buses. You saw me in the studio making music. So it's pretty much my day starts at 3.30, go to the gym by 4, and it ends usually around 8, 9 o'clock at night. I do that pretty much seven days a week. But in order to get where you want to get, they say you got to work hard, and I'm pretty sure nobody works harder than me. I'm not there yet, but I'm going to get there. I'm coming for that top spot, I'm telling you. Thanks for watching Southern Maryland Sports Journal with me, Travis Thomas. Hey, stay tuned exclusively on Metrocast Channel 10.